look what I got, the brand new 24 inch iMac. Let's go and check what this baby can do. It's Aki Anastasiu here and welcome to another episode of Next Up. I'm so excited to introduce the new iMac to you and unbox it together with you. You know, the one thing that excites me the most with any Apple product is the opening of the boxes. I just love the thought that goes behind Apple packaging and their products and how it just unwinds. You know, unboxing them is an adventure in itself. Now, when I first saw the launch of these iMacs a few weeks back, it took me straight back to the early 90s. Remember when Apple launched those retro Macs with a bulky back cover with similar colors, right? Well, now I'm giving my age away, but those were gorgeous. They're in fact still gorgeous. Typical Apple design, but this iMac is different. Let's talk about how thin this new iMac is. It's just 11.5 millimeters thick, so it's slightly thicker than my iPhone 12. Now that blows my mind. This computer with the M1 processor sits at the bottom of this iMac. The new iMac joins the incredible family of Mac models powered by M1, including the MacBook Air, the 13-inch MacBook Pro, the Mac Mini, and it's marking another step forward in Apple's transition to Apple Silicon. Now, combining the power and the performance of the M1 chip and Mac OS Big Sur, apps launch with blazing speed. Everyday tasks feel incredibly fast and fluid, and demanding workloads like editing 4K video, for example, or working with huge images are faster than ever using the new IMAX. So for example, if you're editing movies in iMovie or photos in Photoshop or Lightroom for that matter, performance is significantly faster, twice as fast in fact. So you really have that incredible power. Imagine having the ability to edit up to five streams of 4K footage or one stream of 8K footage without dropping a frame in Final Cut Pro. But you need an awesome screen to do this kind of editing, right? You get that color right. Now, this new Mac features a 24-inch 4.5K Retina display with 11.3 million pixels, 500 nits of brightness, and over a billion colors, delivering a brilliant and vivid viewing experience. It's really unbelievable. Watching movies on this, incredible. So if you wanted to use this to edit videos, for example, edit your favorite photographs, you're going to get incredible color accuracy using this 4.5K screen. Now, Apple have also upgraded the camera. So you've got this front-facing camera. If you're working from home with this pandemic, it's got um, a 1080p FaceTime HD camera. It's got studio quality mics and a six speaker sound system so it's got the best camera and the best audio ever in a mac the microphone will pick you up from different various angles so it's quite cool if you're in these virtual meetings and you're in this angle or you're in that angle these microphones are going to pick you up automatically and the clever algorithm in the background makes it happen all seamlessly now to complement the camera the new iMac features a studio quality three microphone array for clearer calls and voice recordings. It's the best ever they've put into a Mac. The mics are positioned to reduce feedback from the rest of the system, while directional beamforming allows them to better ignore background noises and focus on the user's voice. As a result, conversations are more natural, recordings are crystal clear. Think about all those virtual calls that you're doing for work, working remotely. These microphones take away all that background noise. Now, the new iMac also features the best sound system ever in a Mac. It has two pairs of force cancelling woofers placed side by side for an immersive bass response while reducing unintended vibrations. Each pair is balanced with a high-performance tweeter. Now, the result is a six-speaker sound system that produces a massive soundstage with strong articulate bass and crystal clear mids and highs. All of these speaker innovations, coupled with the advanced algorithms, enable iMac to support spatial audio when playing music, for example, or you're watching movies. Think of Dolby Atmos in a video. It's unbelievable on this new iMac. 
iMac has also state-of-the-art connectivity with up to four USB ports situated at the back, including two Thunderbolt ports for super-fast data transfer and support for up to a 6K display. Touch ID comes to iMac as well for the first time, making it easier than ever to securely log in. So you just use your finger, you can make purchases with Apple Pay, or you can switch user profiles just by using the touch of your finger. Touch ID is implemented wirelessly on the Magic Keyboard. It uses a dedicated security component on the keyboard that communicates directly with Secure Enclave on the M1. It creates an encrypted channel to protect your user fingerprint data from end to end. So whether you're unlocking your iMac or making a purchase with Apple Pay, you will have a secure experience. And I think that's so important in the world that we're living in today. The new iMac also comes in a spectrum of seven vibrant colors. I mentioned them. We're using the blue one today, but there's green, there's yellow, there's orange, there's pink, there's purple, there's silver, and there's this beautiful blue. It'll bring a sense of joy to any space. So what is cool is that the colors match the accessories. So you'll notice that all of my accessories that I have together with this iMac match this particular iMac. The complete simplified design, iMac comes with a new power connector that attaches magnetically and a beautifully woven two meter long color matched cable. And it really sits really firmly at the back of the iMac. So as you can see, this new iMac is absolutely gorgeous. From the design to the M1 processor, the power that you have over here, to the magnificent accessories and how color-coded. I love the different colors. In fact, do tell us in the comments below which color would you be going for with these new iMacs. We love the blue, but I kind of like the pistachio green, if you call it a pistachio green. But all the colors are really cool and they really highlight our own personalities, right? So type into the comments below Hello, what's your favorite color? What's your favorite feature on the new iMac? We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for joining us on this episode of Next Up. Don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe right now and hit that notification bell. We'll let you know whenever there's a brand new Next Up video up. Thank you for joining us on Next Up. We'll see you soon.